everyone, it's Keely here with my layout for UK Scrap Addicts. This month's theme is mixed media. I did kind of like, ah, mixed media It is definitely not my strong point at all. Um, so far what I've done is I've cut out um, a cut file by Paige Evans on my silhouette. Um, I think you can actually get this cut file for free on Paige's Facebook group, but I bought this one from the Silhouette store. Um, and what I've done so far, this is a technique that Emma from Mind the Scrap actually showed us um, quite a few months ago, and it's the dry brush, brush technique using some acrylic paint. So um, the cut file is actually still on my cutting mat, and I've got a dry paint brush and brushed it along with the paint. Some areas have got more of the black paint than others, which I quite like that the whole brush stroke effect, I think it looks quite effective. Um, and now I'm <clears throat> just um, sprinkling over some white watered down white acrylic paint and creating lots of um, little painty splatters to make it kind of look like a night sky. Um, whilst that's drying, I decided to back my photo. Um, the kit that I'm actually using for this layout is um, the June Mind the Scrap kit. <coughs> and my inspiration actually was this absolutely stunning um, moon paper, which I think I do I think I do show you the actual paper further along. Um, this is just a, a small part of it that I'd cut off. When cutting my papers down to A4 size. I'm distressing the edges of the papers. I really like this look at the minute and I seem to be doing it on all my papers at the moment when I'm making layouts. <coughs> and the photo I'm scrapping is one of my son TJ and our dog Spud. Um, these two have grown up together. TJ was four months old when we got Spud. And, you know, they're like best friends, like brothers. And, you know, Spud to me, I could have given birth to this dog. <laughs> I love him that much. He's really part of our family. Um, this photo was actually taken a little while ago, I think back in 2016. Um, they're both um, seven now, nearly eight. Um, so, yeah, they've really grown up together. Um, I took some time and I peeled off the cut file from my cutting mat. Um, it was quite tricky to do. Um, it kind of like fused itself back together, the paper, so it did take some time, but it did all come off without any tearing. And now I'm going back to my background and I've decided just to add some black um, paint splatters using watered down acrylic paint. Um, I didn't, because I, I don't do mixed media often, I didn't really count in drying time between doing the different stages, so it's a bit all over the place is this layout. Um, but now with the power of editing, I have come back, um, my paper is dry, and I'm cutting off um, some of the edges to back it with this gorgeous moon paper that I've just been waving around. Um, <clears throat> so that's all done now. I've backed the, the layout. I'm now starting to stick down and commit to my photo placement and uh, where the cut file is going to go. I'm really pleased actually with how the cut file um, has turned out and I definitely will be painting cut files more in the future. Um, I really like this dry brush effect and I'd say of all the mixed media I've kind of watched over the time, um, I've I've never really been happy with how it looks, but this technique that Emma showed us, I really like the effect of. Um, <clears throat> you know, I'd love to, I don't really have much mixed media stuff because I don't really like how it turns out. Um, you know, I've not really, you know, committed to buying some of the more expensive brands and, you know, the expensive um, inks and things. Um, I'm not wasting the um, the paper from the cut file. I've decided to use some of the painty bits and punch out some um, some little stars just to add um, to the background. So it's kind of more mixed media being added to my layout. Um, I'd definitely say my mixed media is definitely a neat version of mixed media. 
um, by you know adding it to a cut file and punching out shapes um, it kind of takes away a lot of the the messy aspect of mixed media which I think is definitely more you know more for me because I don't really like creating lots of messy mixed media even though it looks absolutely stunning when others do it you know like Sarah's layouts are amazing as are you know Amy's as well they're really good at mixed media and I'm sure they'll teach you <laughs> something a lot better than I have um but you know like I said I'm quite happy with how this has turned out and I think it is something that I will try again in the the future <clears throat> um now I'm just placing the stars around um, I'm trying to keep like the darker ones near the darker bit where I've painted some of the lighter ones in the lighter areas where there isn't as much paint on the cut file um, <clears throat> and then there's not really much else that I do to embellish really because I think the cut file and these little stars do you know quite enough for me I've not needed to add um, a title because the title's already in the cut file um, but I do have a flick through some of the embellishments that we got in the Mind the Scrap kit, which was absolutely stunning this month. Um, well, every month it's stunning. I'm always raving about my Mind the Scrap kits. Um, I love how Emma puts them together. Now these are amazing. Um, they're so different, and we've you know I've never seen these around before. <clears throat> um, I think they're from Heidi Swap. Um, I can't remember the a collection. It's a new one. I think it's something to do with wolves, uh, wolf gang or something like that. I could be way off. Um, but you get a rub on and some circles and um squares, and basically you can pick which sticker you want to use and which rub on. So you can make them, you know, coordinate with your layout um a bit more. And you know, a, a quote that will fit your layout a bit more. I've gone for, for this quote, I think it says reach for the moon and I thought it was quite fitting with you know what my layout has got on it um, and the background on the sticker is actually very similar to my cut file, um, it matches the, the moon paper that I've um, you know put behind my layout as well so it, it's you know it fits really well. I do put some form on the back of that um, just to raise it up a little bit and make it pop and it actually fits perfectly um, in that little corner in the, the the curve of like Spud's head so um, you know it was meant to be <laughs> it was definitely meant to be now we do get some sequins in this month's kit and they're, they're stunning they're blue gold and then there's some like iridescent ones it's a lovely mix and I do try and scatter a few around the page um, <clears throat> uh, which I think I do a bit later on actually and I'm messing around with some of the, the wood veneer right now um, but like I said I do try them but I feel they're a little bit big for this layout um, just because um, I've put those little stars on and I think it took away from those little stars um, I do try one of these hearts but they're so chunky they're absolutely gorgeous but they're so chunky uh, but looking back now that actually would have would have worked perfectly fine I do go for this little wood veneer heart and um, I think I bring in some of the little enamel hearts that we got in the kit as well um, <clears throat> but yeah I think this is where I come to trying out the the sequins but um, you'll see for yourself soon they just look too big um but the color would have been you know perfect for this page because they were a lovely dark blue color um so yeah i decided not to go with those and say you know save them for a different layout but i am pulling in these enamel hearts and i had a little white one just to the side of the wooden one and that's that's more or less um you know the layout finished um I do glue down the, the wood veneer and now there'll be some close-ups coming up. Thank you everyone for watching um, and I hope you're really enjoying this month's theme and joining with us on the UK Scrap, Scrap Addicts Facebook group. Bye!